Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, I think our next goal is going to be attacking Russia again. Because if I take this city right here, whatever city this is, I will be able to build Terracotta army. Because I need a flat tile for that. And also, we are quite friendly with Norway, so there's little risk Norway is going to attack me while I'm busy with Russia. And also, since we have the culture bomb from districts active, we can actually take advantage of that and claim these two tiles without having to wait for them or without having to buy them. Let's actually just get a government plaza right here. It's fine. It's not the most ideal government plaza ever, but it's good enough. I only have one district in this city, so that means I can have a district here and let's say here. That's a grassland, not a hill. Okay, so right now the plan is to get a few military attacks, upgrade my units, get a few legions, because I definitely want to use my legions, and then we can attack Russia. That's the plan. I'll finish the barracks, and then we can get started on legions. I don't think I'll be waiting for the armory. So, there's construction, and the next step we should probably get machinery. Especially since some of my archers are very, very close to level 6, which would give them an additional attack. Uh, actually, that was level 5, wasn't it? Yeah, that was level 5. So, several of them are very, very close. That would be really nice. 40 experience away. It's not that much. Alright, let's grab the first. There we go, that's more amenities. And I could also culture bomb Auckland, although I'm not sure how that would affect my relations with them. And I would rather keep the bonus, to be honest. And here's another city-state, Buenos Aires. What was the bonus here? Let's see. Your bonus resources behave like luxury resources, providing plus one amenity per type. Oh, that is really nice. Is there any competition for that one? There is not. And Vilnius is also pretty nice, but I can't get all the city-states. I will certainly get some of them. Well, we'll see. Also, we can switch back to Charismatic Leader on the next turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And it looks like we should probably explore to the south. There's not much else to the north. So let's just go south. There's Feudalism, and also feudalism. plus one Era score. We got 40 Era score out of 52 required for a Golden Age. I might be able to get a Golden Age, I'm not entirely sure. I suppose we'll see. Anyway, let's get Charismatic Leader again. I think I'll keep Caravanzaris. And we can pick up production bonus to Builders, because I still need more Builders. I could pick up land surveyors, but is it actually necessary? I plan to culture bomb these two tiles, so it's not needed for that. I could culture bomb a few tiles around here, so honestly, I don't really think it's necessary. I'd rather keep my gold for unit upgrades, because we are going to need a lot of gold for that. Speaking of which, we are also going to need professional army. So, let's research mercenaries for professional army. And I'll still need a lot of gold even with that. Are we recruiting builders right now? Yes, we are. And I could probably use at least one more. Let's pick up that policy. Or do we want another settler? Technically, I could still settle a city in this area. It wouldn't be an amazing city, but there's very little downside settling over here, and it would be acceptable combined with Auckland, to be honest. I could also settle on this side. Again, it wouldn't be amazing, but it might be useful to have a city on the same landmass Japan is on. That's what I'm thinking. We could grab a settler after that trader, perhaps. That would normally take seven turns. And it will take 8 turns to get mercenaries. Okay, let's get one more settler, that's fine. We'll get colonization. 
I can just swap out caravan zaris and still get a bonus for builders to be honest because I need builders and right now I only have one trade route I got another one coming but that's only plus two extra gold right let's get served them actually because that will give me two extra builds on the builder I'm literally about to finish sounds good let's do that then all right and now we want to go south I just need to go around the city-state. I'm curious what other sieves are in this game. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. A delegation, yeah, that's fine. It won't be there for long, but alright. So, yeah, I might have to go all the way around, actually. I suppose that's acceptable. The trader is almost done. I should be able to send him to one of the Japanese cities. Yeah, we can. 13 gold, I like that. Let's do that then. Yep. Works for me. And next up I can get the settler. That's five turns. That's fine. Okay then. And once we are done with barracks, I'll get started on legions. We want at least a few legions. I would say, like, free, Something like that. They are still very much relevant. But I want to actually use them before they become obsolete. Here's machinery. And plus one error score. So that's 41 out of 52. Well... Could I maybe build a theater square with a plus three bonus? Probably not. No, I don't think I can actually do that. Anyway, let's get a quarry right here, because I still need that. Tempo of Artemis is still available. And I could even build it if I really wanted to. But I think I'd rather get some units. Or a district. I could still culture bomb some tiles. Like these two, that's fine. This would be a decent spot for an industrial zone, actually, once I'm able to build that. And we could also get an entertainment complex, because I'll need one eventually, and this would be a decent spot for it. This might be a better spot for the industrial zone, because it will eventually have four mines adjacent to it. Yeah, that is pretty nice. When are we going to research that? Well, not just yet. But we will eventually. So how about entertainment complex right here? And we'll use that to culture bomb the two tiles. And then I'll save this one for the industrial zone. That sounds good to me, let's do that. Okay. And next, we should probably reveal Niter. But at the same time, I would like to unlock Pikemen. But I need mathematics for that. Plus one movement for all naval units, okay? Don't really need that. Right, let's get military engineering. I need to know where Niter is, because that might change my war priorities, let's just say. And now that we have the barracks, we can get Legion. That will cost me 10 iron, but that's fine, we already have 42. This is acceptable. So, let's just set up like this and wait for a few more units. And I'm not upgrading until we get professional army. It would be a huge waste of money to upgrade right now. It's not like we need to upgrade right now. Hopefully we'll have some nitrate somewhere. And if not, we can take it from someone. Hopefully. I mean, borrow. Clearly, that's what's happening. Right, let's grab the quarry. And can we even go south from here? Well, hopefully we can. Surely we'll make contact with more sieves sometime soon. I really want to know who exactly they are. In case somebody like Australia is in this game. Because Australia is always dangerous as the AI. Oh nice, we got a great person. Great scientist. Triggers Eureka moment for two random technologies 
and the inspiration moment for one random civic from medieval or renaissance era. I think that's still worth picking up. Yeah, that's definitely worth picking up. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's grab him. And that also gives us education boost. Which means he will be worth four boosts. We got education, the enlightenment, banking, and cartography. That is pretty nice, actually. That was definitely worth it. And also more era score. And we completed a city-state quest for Geneva. Nice. Very nice. 45 out of 52. I should be able to get a golden age. I just need more era score. How do we get more era score? Well... We do have a campus with plus 3 already. I would need to get a theater square with plus 3. Which is not happening right now. I could get a commercial hub with plus 3. Because this one only has plus 2. That would give me more era score. Not sure if I actually want a harbor and a commercial hub in the same city. But it would definitely give me more era score. However, I would probably have to speed it up by chopping a forest or something like that. Let's maybe get a builder in our capital. And then we can chop some of the forests. Well, technically I could get plus 3 on the theater square if I harvest the rice and then build a district here. That might actually be worth doing. In fact, I could get a campus on this side and then I could get a theater square where rice currently is. And that should be worth plus 3 if I'm not mistaken. It's plus 1 per adjacent district. Right? Let's see. Oh no, it's plus one per two adjacent districts, but plus one per adjacent government plaza. So it would not be plus three. I guess the commercial hub is still the best option. It would definitely give me more era score. And right now that's one of the better ways to get era score. Let's just do it. But I would rather have it where rice is, to be honest and then have a campus next to mountains. It's a bit of a waste building a commercial hub right here. I'm not quite willing to buy a builder, however. We can wait a few turns for the builder. Five turns. I don't think I'll save more than five turns on this. But I don't want to just remove the rice by placing a district there. Just no, I'm not doing that. Let's just work on the water mill for now. Okay, I could send this guy, but he needs to go for some rough terrain. I don't think he will even get there in time. I can speed up the entertainment complex by chopping the forest, because we'll be doing that regardless. Uh, that looks like the Great Lighthouse. Yes, indeed. Good to know. Norway has so many cities. Open borders. I still want open borders, but I'd rather just buy it from them. It won't be very expensive. Yeah, 22 gold, that's fine. Moderate flood? That's not in our territory. Alright, let's keep moving. Where the heck are other sieves? Also, I can't actually embark with this silly scout. Let's just set him to automated exploration. There's the settler. Hey Japan, what are you doing? He's not attacking Geneva, is he? Right, I would still like to settle a city on this side. It's not going to be a brilliant city, but it might be useful to have a city on the same landmass Japan is on. Let's just do it. Japan is way behind in tech. They are not exactly a threat. I mean, I'm also a little bit behind in tech, but Japan is only one tech ahead of me. This is one of the reasons why I want to save this tile for a campus. I need more campuses in general. In fact, I might get one in Antium as well. How long until our border expands? A little bit too long for my taste. This will not be a very good campus, unfortunately. Or we can grab city walls real quick. Let's get city walls real quick. 
and the Chobu the Forest. Here, that saved quite a few turns. I'm actually at minus one amenities, so we need more. And we got mercenaries. Now we can actually pick up professional army instead of colonization. And I think that's it. I will keep Serfdom because we don't have another builder coming up. Alright, and now we can actually upgrade. So first, let's upgrade the archers. Like that. And we will get more era score from the Legion. That should be plus 4, because that's my unique unit. It should be plus 4, if I'm not mistaken. There's metal casting. I am very, very close to a Golden Age. I'm so close. Okay, another one. Yeah, this is expensive. Next up, recorded history. And another envoy. Just keep him for now. Alright then. Carry on. And I might as well build a mine. Yep. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I can't go through here anymore. Unless I get open borders with ah, Russia. Build. Which I probably will not. Let's see if we have Niter. I'm just going to use map search. We got some. At least... Oh, yep, we got one right here. Nice. And I can improve that with my builder right away. Literally right now with this guy. And here's another one. That's inside Norway's territory. Could I culture bomb that one? No, it's outside of my city borders. And it's adjacent to their city center. Well, we have one source. That's what matters. One source is enough. I would prefer more, but the important part is that we have one at least. Alright, let's maybe get military tactics to unlock pikemen, because spearmen are a little bit too weak at this point, and I have two of them, so might as well put them to good use. Alright then, I don't think I need an escort for that settler, he'll be fine. I can give him the warrior. How much would it cost to upgrade the warrior? There's the plus 4 era score from my legion. 75 gold and 10 iron. We can upgrade him later. So that gives me 51 out of 52. Yeah, we will definitely get a golden age. And now I think I'll pick up Researcher on Pingala. Rome is not exactly huge, but Researcher is nice. What else can we pick up? Yeah, I think we should pick up Researcher. Alright, let's do that. Done. Okay. So, another Legion. We only have one at the moment. 13 turns for the armory is a little bit too much for my taste. That's way too much. You can move out of the way for now. Alright. Technically, I'm probably ready. I wouldn't mind at least one catapult or something like that. I might grab one. Maybe in Rome. How long would that take? Shouldn't take too long. Six turns. I think that's acceptable. Rome doesn't need walls. It will be fine. Famous last words. No, who is going to attack Rome? The only one who could do that is Norway. History. Speaking of which, he already dislikes me. Okay. So maybe we should attack Norway instead. Because that would actually make a bit more sense right now. The biggest benefit of attacking Russia is getting a spot for Terracotta army. Because I need this style specifically for Terracotta army. It needs to be flat. And it needs to be adjacent to the encampment. But Norway has some good cities pretty damn close to me. It might actually make more sense attacking Norway, though I still have grievances with Russia. I don't think so. No grievances. Okay. So what do you think? Should we go after Russia or after Norway? Who would you attack if you were the one playing this game right now? I'm actually going to include a poll in this video, in the top right corner. No guarantee I will actually go with whichever option wins, but I'm curious what you guys think. Norway or Russia, so place your votes. <laughs> and let's check our civics really quick. So next up we could go for medieval first. I don't think I'll be getting four trade routes. 
and medieval fairs leads to exploration, which unlocks Merchant Republic. I would definitely like to get Merchant Republic. So let's do that. We might be able to get two caravels, because cartography is boosted. I got that from the great scientist. I don't think I'll be building a classical era or later wonder right now. But we could go for cartography. Well, problem is, it would take a while. And I still want to get military tactics to unlock the pikemen. And then I still want to get apprenticeship. And I need to get education. Yeah, no, I think I'll have to pass on cartography. We have far more important text to research. I definitely need education to build universities. Because I can't afford to fall too far behind in science. We'll finish mathematics first and then we can decide. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.